Copy that, that's bro. Coolest collab of the year. Must be 21 and older to drink. This isn't an ad, but I wish it was. An unnamed source told the Daily Wire no one at the senior level was aware this is happening. Now, what are they talking about? They're talking about the whole Bud Light and Dylan Mulvaney uh, collab that just happened. And who are they talking about? They're talking about Anheuser-Busch. Anheuser-Busch is Bud Light's parent company. Anheuser-Busch owns a bunch of companies, literally a bunch of different beer companies, and I'm sure other companies too. But they're known for owning a bunch of uh, different beer companies. And they have... 19,000 employees nationwide, 19,000 employees nationwide. I'm sure they don't know every single thing that goes on in each of their companies. So if this is true, if this is actually true, it says an unnamed source. So if this is actually true, I don't find it hard to believe at all. In the last week or so, Anheuser-Busch, who once again owns Bud Light, lost like $5 billion in market cap. And it says here, marketing executives at Bud's parent, Anheuser-Busch, have allegedly paused additional campaigns so they can implement a more robust vetting process for future projects, according to the report. Now, once again, I don't know how true this is. It says allegedly, and it says unnamed source. I don't know how true this is, but... If it is true, I wouldn't be surprised that Anheuser-Busch, who manages 19,000 employees and has a bunch of different companies, the top people, the top executives, had no clue Bud Light is doing a collab with Dylan Mulvaney. Or they actually knew about the collab and they're just doing a damage control. They're like, oh no, we had no idea. And they're trying to point the blame at someone. They probably point the blame at someone in Bud Light, like a, like a marketing like a marketing VP, you know that that lady that came out. She's like the marketing VP of Bud Light. They they just want to be like, oh no, it's her fault or it's this person's fault, just to do damage control because they lost a lot of money and they don't want to lose more money. But this has been a crazy story in this last like couple weeks, and we're just gonna wait and have to see what else happens. We'll see if they make another statement or if more news comes out about this. But let me know what you think of this in the comments, and it'll mean the world to me if you like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the noti. Thank you so much for watching.